Hello and welcome to part two of my Platinum Trophy walkthrough of GTA 5 on the PS4. Nice Stop nice talking to me, woman. I'm trying to host a video. Alright, so we head outside and. Franklin! It's going down, huh? The market, my boy. Liquidity is a bitch. Get over here so I can give you the new repo list. Alright, dog. I'll be around when I get a chance. Well, there's a message on the screen, we've unlocked the blimp, and we can just call it from our cell phone, so we'll have some fun with that at some point, I'm sure. And we need to go to Simeon. So, it's called Armenian in the uh, book menu, which is uh, nice and racist. Let's identify him by where he's from instead of his name. Can be a racist, but it's a bit uh, derogatory, I suppose. Then again, me telling her to shut up when was probably derogatory as well, if we're honest. But never mind. Um, oh, okay. So next door to Simeon's, we have an ammunition. And it's a special kind of ammunition. It has the indoor shooting range. And that sounds like fun to me. So we're going to go do that first. Look who it is. Look who it is. Yeah, see? I'm getting famous fast. He knows who Ubeza Oh, he means Franklin. I thought he knew who Ubeza was for a second then. But no. He's excited to see Franklin. Can I go in? There you go, $14. And we get a tutorial for that as well. I mean, that's value for money, that is. So after a brief countdown, Tigers will drop down. And you shoot him. There we go, tutorial over. No? Okay, we're going to tell us more. Uh, after they destroyed our time runs out, around the lens. Yeah, that's fairly obvious, I would have said. In accuracy rounds, you get better score for going near the centre of the target. So, 10 points for the outside, 25 for the blue, 50 for the red, and I'm guessing 100. Yeah, for the yellow, or gold. I like to say gold on a target. Oh, there's a combo meter as well, which is nice. Increases your multiplier to up to three times the score. Sure, that'll be handy. Multiple challenges per weapon with instructions for each in the menu. So, handguns. Pistol. Challenge one. Seems like a good place to start. Okay. So, these are stationary targets, and we want to hit gold. I'm going to hit them reasonably fast, but we, honestly, I don't think we're going to be in any rush here to get gold. Uh, just make sure we always hit yellow, and we should get a good score. It's 15 targets to hit. Why can't I hit the middle there? There we go. Oh, we're on 200 points per target now. For gold, anyway. There we go. Oh, hello. Okay, this is taking a little while, but I'm sure we'll uh, manage. I've got a couple of quick 300s there, which is nice. Got to reload. Last one. Yeah, perfect. We got it perfect. Oh, yeah. And we got a medal. Lovely. Oh, okay. So, uh, back out. So we can switch. We can switch weapons now. We've unlocked the ability to use the AP pistol, which is the automatic one. So it fires faster, and those scores are a lot higher. So I'm going to use that now. Let's get lots of yellow early on, get that score multiplier up. We've already got a bronze. This is good. We hit a lot of yellow then. That's good. Reload. Trust me, you want to reload at that point because you want to unload into there where you can get lots of yellows pretty easily. Reload there. Make sure you get lots of yellows. Come on! No! Ah, oh, look at that score! We've got a silver medal. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. We're not having that. Okay, so we know where they're going to come. We know we have to reload manually on that third target. Definitely have to reload manually on that third one. So there's enough time there to reload and still empty the clip into this. But then on this third one, we don't want to do too much because we want to reload and hit that gold lock. Mm, that didn't go quite as planned, did it? We hit it! We hit it! Yes! Wow, we smashed it! Yes! Didn't go quite to plan, and we still got the gold medal. Beautiful. Oh, wait. I've just realised, though. We got that for the AP pistol. Does it count for the pistol? Oh, it does. Okay, we've got... Now, this challenge three, we've got one moving target that we can shoot as many times as we want, because it exits automatically. This sounds uh, difficult. We want 15,000 on it. 
Hmm. Okay, so what you want to do on this one, guys, is get your target in the middle in front of you and just move with it. Don't twist. Don't twist. Walk. It's a bit hard to get the hand off, but when you do, you can get quite a good score in just one pass there. I'm not going to get the gold though. Oh my! Oh, he's done it! Yes! Oof, that was stressful. <laughs> I had quite a few goals at that, guys, in case you didn't fathom. 89%. Oh, look at that, we got 100% on all the others, accuracy. Dang. Ah oh, well. Okay, so there's the three challenges. I'm not going to do the other classes as well. Um, quite happy to just do them for now. So let's uh, quit the shooting range. I think we've got our $14 worth. And let's go do a job for Simeon. What's happening, player? <laughs> Don't call me player. I just no. I'm just not. Oh, so Simeon's little blip has disappeared off the map. That's interesting. Okay, so for some reason I had to just drive away to load my safe house and then the S reappeared on the radar. So now we can do the job. So if that happens to you guys, if you're following this exact, then uh, yeah, there's your solution. And I just cut a little bit out while I was figuring out how to make the SV appear. Okay, so let's go do the mission. Oh, that brick just grew. Anyone else see that? <laughs> so, nice transition into the cutscene, I'm guessing, now. Hey, what's up, Simeon? My dear boy, so good to see you. So good. Hold me. <laughs> yeah, look, man. Look, we've been working together for about a few months now, right? Which is why... I am very honored to announce to you that you are employee of the month. Huh? Anyway, congratulations. It wasn't easy picking a winner. <laughs> yeah, me, Lamar, your nephew Sacha with the Twitch. Look, man, it's been a real honor, homie. But I gotta move forward in my life. It seems like all I do is let people tell me what to do and I do it and nothing changes. I tell you what, my boy. You tell me exactly what you want and I will very carefully explain to you why it cannot be. What? Today is repossessing vehicles that fools have purchased at exorbitant interest rates. But tomorrow, together, I never had a black son. But if I did, I want him to be just like you. Knock, knock, ah. nigga. <laughs> Hello, What's up, Lamar. What's up, <laughs> What's up, Lamar? What's up, dog? Franklin here has been awarded Employee of the Month. You fucking with me, right? Man, we both being fucked with, dog. Man, knock it off, man. For real, after all the motherfucking work I put in, man. Man, fuck this employee of the month shit, homie. I'm sitting up here trying what to get What you mean, us fuck this employee of the month shit, man? When it's be one, goddammit, I want it. I don't give a fuck what it is. You know what I'm talking about? I take no prisoners. I go hard doing this shit. Big dog, big nuts. When names is on the motherfucking board, I want to see my name at the top of that motherfucking next to it. It needs to say, winner. Hey, maybe next month, huh? Man, fuck next month, Simeon. What about today? I, I demand a retrial. Today is nothing. Just a bike. Hasn't made a payment at all. Some kid at Vespucci Beach. His name is Esteban Jimenez. Is he in a gang? Curiously enough, I did not inquire when he bought the bike. <laughs> we got work to do, uh, employee of the month. Man, fuck you and come on. Man, you's a body mouse ass nigga. Let's go to Vespucci. Magellan now. Are you still rolling with that old rag ass here? <laughs> Lamar's still complaining about the hair. Um, I actually missed a trick at the end of uh, the last episode, um, which was to allow you guys the chance to vote. Um, if you're new here, if this is the new, new, if this is the first series that you've watched of mine, I like to run my channel interactively. Uh, in fact, GTA 5 being the game I was playing right now. Um, was a vote on the Facebook page, so uh, go, feel free to find that in the description and uh, click like so you can contribute in future. Um, 
but yeah, so I like to run things interactively. I like uh, you guys to be involved in the decision making process. And on um, on this game, <laughs> wow, that was dodgy physics. Uh, on this game, there's not an awful lot for you guys to choose other than maybe the order of missions, you know, what I do next. But all that really does is affects the order of upload, not the end result. So instead, I think Lamar, keep complaining about my hair, is a cue to do Franklin's hair. Um, and I'm going to let you guys vote on what he looks like. So at the end of this episode, I'm going to head over to the barber shop and uh, show you all the available haircuts and also beards. And uh, you can vote on which one you think Franklin should have. The bike should be in one of the lockups down here. Should be is the story of your life, asshole. So we have to follow Lamar. We're on a time limit to get the gold medal here, but let's follow slow Lamar, shall we? This crazy motherfucker wants something. Hey, what's up, homie? You alright? No, wait, 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 I mean, we're for Chapel Agents. Uh, yeah, you thought you hit your bitch ass, drunk ass nigga. Shit, man, play it cool. All right, <laughs> that bit with the drunk guy cracks me up each time. I always chuckle at that. And now they're obviously building up the fact that uh, we're in unfriendly territory. Hey, look, let's keep it smooth, homie. Man, your pussy the only thing that's smooth up in this shit. Man, what exactly did I do in a past life to deserve your stupid ass? This is a routine lick, dog. Chill. Do them Vagos look routine? This is a shady ass app. Shit, we in Vespucci Beach. You're on the wrong side of Vespucci Beach. You should know a block makes a difference. Hey, 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 hold up. It's in one of these locker. Yep, yeah, I know which one as well. However, it's not this one. But in this one, if you're interested, guys, there's some body armor on the floor. We don't really need it at this stage, but free body armor is free body armor, eh? So the one that we actually want to open is over here. Now we are on a time limit, as I say. Man, ain't this fuck, bitch? Ain't no motherfucking bike in here, man. No shit, nigga. Hola, amigos. Hola, S.A. Uh, so you're trying to creep up in here, man? Yeah? You saw this motherfucker? Oh, shit. Yo, yo. Oh, shit! Oh, oh, oh. Mamo! Fuck. Fucking die! Hey. Come on down, everybody! Come on down! Hey, nigga, I would've just got my ass beat over a fucking cunt fight. Let's stop being a pussy, nigga, and grab that heat. I don't know. Get those fools! Get the flow, homie! Fuck, they must've heard some shit! Find your bitch ass and cover! Right, so, as well as... Ah, damn. Um, the time. Damn, will you stop ducking? <laughs> we also need, the reason I'm getting frustrated is because we need to have a certain level of accuracy. We need 70% or higher. We also need six headshots, of which I think we've already got four, five, I'm sorry. Stand corrected. We need a headshot. We need one more headshot. There we go. And we've got quite high accuracy so far. So let's just keep that up. Alright, so this car, we wait a second, it crashes, and then we, uh, into his friend, actually, it crashed. We blow it up. Boom, you deadly motherfucker! You still breathing? Yeah, barely, homie. Shit, we gotta get the fuck away from this shit. Man, we only came here for a bike. And that a motherfucker is right there. Hey, nigga, come here, we got your pink slip! Alright, so the bike's just, uh, taken off and stolen a... Mexican guy at the same time, which is just a heinous crime. So we're gonna go and save that Mexican guy. I think that's how this story's going. Uh, the car's facing the wrong way, which is which is lovely. Come on, get in, get in, get in. Yep, right, let's go. Okay, so let's let's try and catch this bike as quick as we can. Let's armor that way. I haven't lost him already. Give it a rest. Right, okay, so. So, 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 we need to take a couple of jumps over here, which is always good fun until we hit a car. Oh, where did that car go? Let's just say it turned, shall we, guys, instead of it having unspawned mysteriously or something like that. Now we need to take this car. No, we may as well keep the accurate driving on for a second because we're going to rescue this Mexican. There we go. Saved him. Oh, shit, he's down. Take the bike and meet me at the car wash round the way. Alright. Oh, I didn't need to dive out there. 
<laughs> I didn't need the extra time on that, really. But never mind. Right, so Lamar's got my car. So I don't feel 100% about, but never mind. It's one mile. Right, we have to get there ASAP as well. We have to beat the six. I'm sure it's six and a half minutes for gold. 70% accuracy, six headshots. You have to blow up that, um, fl that uh, gas trail that I did. As well, the petrol, if you, you know. That's probably its proper name. Um, but yeah, you, you have to do all of those things and you have to finish the mission in under six and a half minutes, which includes cutscenes. So a word of advice, you might want to skip them. You might want to skip those cutscenes. What I've actually done is skip the cutscenes and recorded them separately and then, you know, through the magic of video editing, they're there. They are there for you to enjoy. Alright, so we are pretty much here now. I say pretty much, we're here now. Man, I can't hang with your ass for a while, bro. You a psychopath. You done finally fucking lost it. Nigga, that's that Apache blood in me, homie. Yeah, lucky I ain't do a flying tomahawk or something with they motherfucking ass. We can't repo the assets of a dead man, big city chief asshole. Nigga. And we ain't going to neither, nigga. I'm gonna keep this motherfucker for myself. Tell Simeon we couldn't recover. You fucking tell him, you fucking moron! Right, so, did we do it? Did we do it? Expand? We got the gold! Oh yeah! 84% accuracy, we did it with 9 seconds to spare. And we got the exact number of headshots we needed. I don't know if it tell you if you got more, actually. Okay, beautiful. So, continue. Strangers and freaks can now be found. Fantastic. What I need to do, though, is set a waypoint for a barber. And we're gonna go and have a look at some haircuts. Because somebody's getting a haircut. And it's frankly. Nice so, 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 so. Let's, uh, head around this way. It's not far, otherwise I would skip the journey. When we get further into the game and it's longer journeys with that are uneventful, I'll skip them. Oh, we've had a text from Lamar. Stretch is getting out, homie. Strizzetch. His bid's almost done. We, we go in, holler at you, dog. Thanks for that, Lamar. What were you doing when everyone else was at school? Alright, so, her cooks. Looks good. Yeah, I like it. Now, I'm telling you, if you don't sleep in that hairnet, you, you wake up with your brains in your pillow, dig? Alright, I hear you. See ya. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> At least she gives advice to her customers. You looking to get a haircut? Well, what do you think of me for, stupid woman? Let's see what you like. <laughs> Alright, so, let's just quickly go through the haircuts available. Hairstyles, so we have fade, so we can't, well we can choose that, you could choose to keep this, however, I think we do pretty much need to change the hair to stop Lamar moaning about it. Um, so we can have triple rails, we can have go faster strikes basically, uh, which looks very cool, being sarcastic of course. Uh, I'm not sure what that's meant to be, wavy side rolls, snakes, tram lines, star cuts, now I'm going to be honest with you guys. <laughs> I know it's not cool, but I thought this was kind of cool, and I had it on my PS3, Franklin, for quite a long time, if I remember rightly. I ended up with all three characters having a shaven head and a big bushy beard, actually, uh, towards the end, but at first, Franklin had this haircut for quite a lot of the story. Uh, yeah, half a haircut there, called Shutters, Booms, <laughs> Mellowplex, looks like we've got fingerprints on our head. The feud. Oh, I know what this is going to be. You can't quite see it that side. There we go. Got the uh, family's logo on the back there. Kind of cool. A low throw. Cornrows. There's the skinhead. There's, it's called Shape Up. So, comment the uh, name of the hairstyle you want Franklin to have out of all of those. If you're not sure, just rewind to the point. Uh, put an annotation back to the start of the haircuts. And, uh, yeah. Pick your, pick your favourite. And there's also three beards. So, as well as that, either vote. So, put the name of the haircut plus clean shave. Or plus full Spartan if you want a full beard. 
which honestly looks ridiculous with that hairstyle because look, it's got like the fade, then a little tiny gap where the hair's that shot, and then the beard starts, which just looks stupid. And stubble, which kind of has the same issue, but not as bad actually, so that doesn't look as bad. So there are the options for that. So, well, haircut plus beard. Yeah, so you could put, um, for example, if you really, really hated me, I suppose you could put wavy side rows plus full Spartan, which would look utterly ridiculous, but hey, I'm game for anything. If, if, if you've seen my Saints Row character, you know I'm game for anything. If you've not seen my Saints Row character, I'll put an annotation on screen now, and you can uh, have a look at my Saints Row series. Okay, so I think this is as good a point as any. Let's just put Franklin back to normal. There we go. Uh, so thank you very much for watching, guys. Always appreciated. As always, I've been Ibeza. You've been amazing. And I will see you next time.